Good morning everyone. Today we have our 2002 Parker 2110. It's a 21 foot walk around Cuddy. It's powered with a 200 horsepower Yamaha four stroke engine with very low hours at 168. Uh, it, you'll see this boat powered with a 150 and no more than a 225 so this is a nice power package that has come with the boat. Uh, boat comes with lots of good factory options, a little bare bones on the electronics but I'll show you that. Uh, it has the bimini top which is currently up on the boat. The boat also comes with a full canvas enclosure which is a front windshield, side curtains and a backdrop. Good shape, have really never been on the boat. Uh, it just needs to be warmed up and you can put it up. The hull shows pretty well. Uh, gel coat came back pretty nice with a buff and a wax as you can see. Some little scratches on the hull. I think I saw it somewhere like right here. But real minor for an O2. She shows pretty well. Uh, she still has a nice shine to her. I'll come back around the other side. There's the 200 horsepower Yamaha engine. Little, I'm on a ramp, so that's why the boat's elevated. Boat has never seen bottom paint. It's been uh, Botel kept, and that didn't, and lift kept prior to that. Uh, very little to no corrosion on the Yamaha lower end. Uh, compression on the engine is 190 on every cylinder. Lower unit has been pressure checked and uh, good to go there as well. Don't know the last time the water pump was done. We just took the boat out of the water. That's why it's dripping wet. Transom shows well. Scuppers. Trim and tilt. Look, no, hard, no corrosion on there. That's sometimes an issue with boats that are kept in the water, but this one doesn't have that issue. Boat also has hydraulic Bennett trim tabs. Here's the other side of the hull. Side profile shot. The boat is on a venture, brand new venture trailer right now. It's bigger than this trailer wouldn't come with the boat. Uh, we are a brand new venture trailer dealer. We could sell you one. It's going to be smaller than this one that it's on currently, but we do have trailers in stock that will fit the boat. Give us a call for questions on those. Let me hop in the boat real quick. Pardon me, I'm going to put this camera down for a quick sec. <sighs> Sorry about the grunt. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the boat. So the Parker makes a quality boat with non-skid throughout. It's a self bailing cockpit. Uh, plenty of fishing space in the boat. On both port and starboard side, you have some flush mounted rod holders. You do have the cushions that are removable for access to your battery switch. Uh, the boat does come with dual batteries and a switch. Floor is very solid, no soft spots. Uh, the bimini is a stainless steel bimini, so that's a nice feature as well. It's not going to uh, move around as much as the aluminum ones. You have two wise uh, helm seats, swivel helm seats, storage underneath both port and starboard seats. You also have a well here. Uh, it's a drainable fish locker or insulated cooler box. The Parker uh, cushions are in excellent condition. They were kept inside the cabin so they didn't get a lot of wear and tear. Hopefully you can see that without the shadows, sorry. You also have a little foot pedestal on the uh, port seat to rest your feet on, as well as one on the, for the driver. Uh, it doesn't have any electronics. Uh, the old original Garmin unit didn't come with the boat, needs electronics, that's what it's lacking. Uh, there's the tack at 168 hours on the engine. 
hydraulic trim tabs I already mentioned that some cockpit lighting does not have an aerated live well or a raw water wash down that I am seeing right this second so uh, you can always add that though it did come with a from the factory it, well if you chose that factory option little VHF radio right there here's the inside of the cabin headliner shows very well you have a little uh, Bomar hatch for circulating some airflow during the summer you have an area that you can put a porta pot there's room for it all the cushions in here are in good shape and are removable and there's storage under each one of these uh, in the there's storage underneath of each of these. This cushion here fills the gap for an additional area to lay down. There is your anchor locker forward, like access to the area so you can do some work. Access to your forward bilge area in there. And behind the dash for your electronics. But it's pretty clean guys. Here's the walk around part. Plenty of space to uh, walk along the gunnel of the boat without um, shifting your feet. Anchor. There is no anchor in here, but there's the anchor well. There's a nice space in here. Stainless steel bow rails, half inch thick. Actually, there's three quarter. No, it's a, it is three quarter inch thick. All right, guys. Here's a walk around of the 2002 Parker. We're gonna put her in the water and uh, show you how she runs here. Coming up. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, this is the 2002. 2110 Parker sea trial video. We're going to get her up on plane to full RPM and uh, show you how she runs. Guys, that was uh, we just finished running the 200 Yamaha on the 202 Parker. We're now in just going about uh, 1200 RPMs. 
real quiet Yamaha four-stroke engine with low hours. I think it's 168 hours. Uh, this is just, with these four-strokes, they're just unbeatable compared to the two-strokes as far as fuel efficiency and quiet uh, running while, you know, having a conversation with your buds while trolling. Uh, don't forget your, uh, to follow us on our YouTube channel as well as subscribe to our Facebook page. Once again, this is MD Boat Sales, 443-324-1368 for questions. Our website's mdboatsales.com, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.